Welcome to my channel. This time, I will be showing you solutions on the problems about corrections due to SAG, under surveying. But before that, please subscribe and don't forget to click the notification bell, after you watch this video. This time, we will be solving this problem. A 50 meters tape is supported only at its ends and under a steady pull of 10 kg. If the tape weighs 0.92 kg, determine the sag correction and the correct distance between the ends of the tape. The figure below illustrates our problem. The very first thing we need to identify are the given. First, we have the length of tape that measures 50 meters, followed by the pull applied on both ends of the tape which is 10 kg, followed by the weight of tape which is 0.92 kg. What is required in the problem are the following. First, the sag correction, denoted by CS, and the correction length between the end of tape. This is caused by the sagging of the tape. After identifying our given and the required in the problem, let us proceed to our solution. First, we begin solving the value for the correction sag. To solve for its value, we will be needing the formula, sag correction is equal to the quotient of the product of the square of the weight, multiplied to the length, all over, 24 multiplied to the square of the amount of pull. We already knew the values to each so we simply use direct substitution. We have, our weight of 0.92 square, multiplied to the length of 50 meters, all over 24, multiplied to the amount of weight of 10 kilograms square. We simply solve and we have, 42.32 square kilograms per meter, all over 2400 square kilograms. The final answer for our SAG correction is 0.0176 meters. That is now the solution in solving the SAG correction to our problem. Lastly, we will solve for the correct length or distance between the ends of the tape. To solve for that, we will use the formula, correct length is equal to the difference of the tape length minus the SAG correction. We already have the value for our tape length of 50 meters, and a while ago, we solved already for the value of our SAG correction. So we simply substitute the values. Giving us, 50 meters minus 0.0176 meters. We just solve and the answer now for our correct length or distance between the ends of tape to be 49.9824 meters. That is now the solution to our correct length. You have to take note that if you're solving for the correction due to SAG, there will always be shortening of the tape. In here, I provided a summary of the answers, the SAG correction of 0.0176 meters and the correct length between end supports of 49.9824 meters. If you wish to see more tutorials with regards to surveying, you can visit in the description box. Please do not forget to subscribe before you exit.